protests are happening as we are learning new details about Manuel Ellis. That is the Tacoma man who died in March while in police custody. Now new video is surfacing as we witness fast changing movements in the investigation into his death. And tonight the state is stepping in. Good evening. I'm Monique Minglavin from the Cairo 7 studios. Hello again. I'm Steve Rabel. Once again, reporting from home, Cairo 7 South Sound reporter Kevin McCarty is live at Tacoma now with this new twist in the investigation. Kevin. And Manuel Ellis' fatal encounter with police last March was not his first encounter with law enforcement. Last fall, he was caught on camera in a standoff with the Pierce County Sheriff's Department, the same agency that was later asked to investigate his death while he was in police custody. This dude is butt naked. He was running down Pacific. The man on the ground in this cell phone video taken last September is Manuel Ellis. He's held at gunpoint by Pierce County Sheriff's deputies who stood several yards away telling him to stay down and surrender. After a little more than a minute, Ellis pushes himself up onto his feet and charges the deputies who stop him with a taser. Yep, he got tased. Party's over. It's only in Tacoma. That was September 21st, 2019. In September 2019, Manny Ellis was experiencing a mental health issue issue. It was absolutely present. It was known. Um, after that day, he started to take medication for his mental health issues that he was experiencing. Ellis was charged with robbing a nearby fast food restaurant on Pacific Avenue just south of Tacoma. According to a probable cause affidavit, he told medics on the scene that he had been smoking methamphetamines and marijuana. The video posted last year on a Facebook community page has resurfaced as new information comes to light in the investigation into Ellis's death on March 3rd of this year while in the custody of Tacoma police. In that case, he was restrained when he cried out that he couldn't breathe minutes before he died. That incident was under investigation by the Pierce County Sheriff's Department, an agency that it was thought had nothing to do with Ellis's arrest that night, until yesterday, when the sheriff revealed a deputy had arrived at the scene as a backup officer at some point. I uh, learned that yesterday from the sheriff about 3.30. Uh, I think the sheriff told me he had just learned it himself personally. Um, I don't know to what extent a deputy may or may not have had involvement. That revelation set in motion a fast-moving series of events that resulted in Governor Jay Inslee calling for a new investigation of the case by the state and Attorney General Bob Ferguson issuing a scathing statement. It is disturbing that the Pierce County Sheriff's Office is only now, after more than three months, revealing its involvement, said Ferguson. To be blunt, the result is a totally unnecessary delay in the investigation of the case. We have to start anew. This is too critical of an issue to get wrong. James Bible, an attorney representing Ellis's family, had already called for Pierce County prosecuting attorney Mary Robnett to recuse herself from the investigation into Ellis's death because of what he said was a natural conflict since she often works closely with the county sheriff's department. Now the case may be investigated by the Washington State Patrol. But a trooper also briefly responded to radio calls during the incident. Bible says that trooper's presence may have had little or no impact. The Washington State Patrol was actually sent away either by the sheriff's office or the Tacoma Police Department. So uh, there's a significant possibility that they could actually carry through with the investigation, but we'll have to evaluate that information as it comes. And today, Pierce County Sheriff's Department spokesman Detective Ed Troyer released a statement about the deputy's presence the night Ellis died. He says, we, have a, we had a deputy arrive at the scene after the four TPD officers. We recognize and appreciate that the extent of the involvement is now part of this investigation. In order to avoid even an appearance that we would not be independent, we have called this to the attention of the prosecutor. We fully agree with the prosecutor in her call for an outside investigation. Live in Tacoma, Kevin McCarty, Cairo 7 News.